Are you ready to learn a new lesson today? If you are ready, get your pen and paper. And let's start with the pretest. Directions. Read the sentences carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. Number one. It does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. Number two, it is a materials that allow heat to flow through easily. Number three, it can also be transmitted across empty spaces or vacuum. Four, when heat is transferred from one place to another by the movement of fluids. Number five, when heat is transferred through solid materials. Looking back, letter A, direction. Draw a happy face if the situation showed the practice of safety measures. If not, draw a sad face. Number one, playing with sharp objects like knives, scissors, and others. Number two, plugging in the cell phone charger while your hands are wet dry. Number three, turn on the light switch while you and your family members are outside. Number four, ironing wet clothes. Number five, do not run while the road is slippery. Letter B. Which of the objects below are magnetic? Put a check on the pictures. Brief introduction. Energy is the ability to work. Both living and non-living things need the energy to do work. Light, heat, and sounds are forms of energy. They travel using various objects. Heat is a form of energy associated with the motion of particles and capable of being transmitted through solid and liquid media by conduction, convection, and through empty space by radiation as thermal energy. It is transferred between bodies of different temperatures. Heat transfer is discipline of thermal engineering that concerns the generation, use, conversions, and exchange of thermal energy between physical systems. Heat transfer is classified into various mechanisms such as thermal conduction, thermal convection, thermal radiation, and transfer of energy by phase change. Now let us find out how heat travels in a given material. Look at the different pictures. Activity 1. Melting or not. Objective. Describe how heat is transferred in solid materials. Materials. Candle, metal spoon, sugar, margarine, crayon, match, or lighter. Procedure Number 1. Look around your home. Check if the needed materials are available. Then, study the situations given. Number 2. Based on the given situations, Identify whether these materials are melting or not and describe how heat transfer in solid materials. Remember, you should ask for assistance from your parents or guardians in looking for different materials inside your home. Situation number one. Light the candle with a matchstick or lighter. Put one tablespoon of margarine on the spoon. Then slowly bring the spoon to the flame of the candle. Observe the changes.
Situation number two. Light the candle with a matchstick or lighter. Put one crushed crayon on the spoon. Then slowly bring the spoon to the flame of the candle. Observe the changes. Situation number three. Light the candle with a matchstick or lighter. Put one tablespoon of sugar on the spoon. Then slowly bring the spoon to the flame of the candle. Observe the changes. Guide questions. Number one. Based on the situations that you read, what happened to the margarine? Crayons and sugar on the spoon. Number two. Why do you think the change took place even if it was not directly exposed to the flame? Number three. If we will use a metal tongue and continue to expose the spoon to the flame, what do you think will happen to the metal tongue? Key concept. Heat moves faster through the use of metals. TBT 2. Let's find out. Objective. Describe how it is transferred in liquid materials. Materials. Tap water. Transparent container, hot water, food coloring, and mug. Procedure number one. Half fill a transparent container with tap water and place the container on the top of four marks. Number two. Using a medicine dropper, put three drops of colored water at the bottom of the water. One of them is in the middle, red colored water, and the other two yellow colored water are on the sides. Number three, place a cup with hot water in the middle container, just below the drop of red colored water. Observe what happened to the red and yellow colored water. Record your observation in your notebook. Question number one. What happens to the drop of red colored water after placing the hot water under it? Number 2. What happens to the drop of yellow colored water? Number 3. What causes the movement of water? Concept. The transfer of heat from one place to another by movement in fluids. Activity 3. You can do it. Objective. Describe how heat is transferred through air. Materials Margarine, clay, twig, butter, plastic bottle, and ice cubes. Procedures Number 1 Put all the materials on a plate. Number 2 Then go out. Then place all the materials under the sand. Number 3 Observe what happened on the materials after 5 minutes. Direction Put a check if the materials melt under the heat of the sun and X if it did not melt. Guided questions number 1 What are the materials that melt under the heat of the sun? Number 2 What are the materials that did not melt under the heat of the sun? Number 3. Why do you think some materials melt under the heat of the sun? Activity 4. Classify me. Study the situations below. Classify them if they belong to conduction, convection, and radiation. Write your answer in the box. Number 1. The chick were kept warm from the heat of lamp or fluorescent. Number 2. Walking under the heat of the sun. Number three, warming of air.
number four, a metal spoon left on a hot pan warms up. Number five, in boiling water, it follows this cycle. The hot water rises and cools down on top. Then it goes down again to be heated, causing it to rise to the top again. Guided questions. Number one, what are the situations that belong to conduction? Number two, what are the situations that belong to convection? Number three, what are the situations that belongs to radiation? Key concept! Conduction is the transfer of it through solid materials. Convection fluids includes liquids and gases. And radiation does not depend on the presence of matter to transfer heat. I hope you learned a lot from the different activities that we presented. Now, let's proceed to check your understanding. Let's look and study this illustration. Directions. Look at the illustration below. Describe and label the diagram based on the type of heat transfer. Remember, heat is a form of energy that can be transferred from one object to another or even created at the expense of the loss of other forms of energy. There are three forms of heat transfer. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction. Conduction is the transfer of heat through solid materials. Conduction is the transfer through a substance or from a substance to another by direct contact. Conductors are materials that allow heat to flow through easily. Examples of conductors are metals, cooking materials, and others. Insulators are materials through which heat passes through slowly or not at all. Examples of insulators are wood, plastic, and ceramic. Convection Convection is the transfer of heat from one place to another by movement of in fluids. Fluids include liquid and gases. Convection involves the motion of fluids in currents. When water is heated in the kettle, the molecules at the bottom get heated first. The heated molecules move and rise, pushing the top molecules, which are cold, to the bottom. The colder molecules sink, get heated from the bottom, and move up. Radiation Heat is a form of energy associated with motion of particles and capable of being transmitted through solid and liquid media by conduction, convection, and through an empty space by radiation. As a thermal energy, it is transferred between bodies of different temperature. Example, when you place your burning charcoal in a pan with water, the charcoal will transfer heat to the water. Post this A directions. Read sentences carefully and circle the correct answer. Number one, how is heat transferred in solid materials? Number two, what may happen to a solid when it is continuously exposed to heat? It will. Number three, which material is an example of conductors? Number four, which of the following statements about heat is correct? Number five, which describes the cyclical movement of water in boiling water? Reflection! Directions! Write your answer inside the box. You may express your answer in a creative way. What learnings have I gained from this lesson? What learning can I share with my family and classmates? 
What good character have I developed from this lesson?